Welcome back to Home Safety Hotline. Day 3. My boss. Yep. Hello, Supervisor Carol here again. We've updated your permissions. You should now have access to more extensive information to work with for your future calls. Please be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can continue providing our clients with accurate diagnoses. Please remember <laughs> that this information is strictly confidential and not to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs. Thank you. What is with your tone, lady? I don't like your tone. Boggart? Whoa! Hate that. Boggart is a general term for metamorphosis, metamorphose hob. Hobs can metamorphosize. They are large, hairy humanoids between six and seven feet tall. Great. They're convincing false hey, faces. Hey, yeah, thanks a bunch for the terrible advice you sent me. Oh. My kid just fell through the frickin' wall from all the damage they dealt, and we found out on our own what was going on. Oh. See you never. What? Okay. Uh, they are known for causing household accidents, such as flooding, fires, or electric outages. They also frequently observe their targets while they sleep. Great! There's something in the basement. I've seen it. It's huge, almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gone close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top oh, of the stairs. David. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. That's awful. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. Okay. Please hold. Is it the uh, Boggart? Suddenly I don't like Hobbs because they turn into these things. They are known for causing household accidents, such as flooding fires and electric outages. Frequently observe their targets while they sleep. Those things watch you while you sleep. Danger. Boggarts are extremely dangerous to humans and pets due to their malicious nightly household activities, which often cause injury or death. They also react very violently when seen by humans, but thankfully these instances are rare as they excel at staying hidden. That means there could be a boggart in your house, staring at you from the corner of the room, and you don't even know it. You're looking right now, but they're there when you least expect it. Watching. Waiting. Do not, under any circumstances, refer to an active boggart by any name. Once you become aware of its presence, simply vacate the premises. Get the, get the heck out of there ASAP. Provided you do not speak of the bogger at any time, any fashion, it will remain in its original location. Let's hear what they sound like. Well, I'm guessing whoever recorded them died. Right at the end there. False artifact? Known for making gentle buzzing sounds. Only be heard by very young human children. Uh, what? Should a child or pet be left alone with a false artifact, they are at risk of being encased within. Once in case no noise is made by the prey, while well, digestion can take upwards of several years to complete, starvation can be a more pressing concern. Of course! False rosebush. 
Oh, it's got legs! Ew! False rose bushes are large span like creatures that most commonly take on the appearance of a rose bush. <sighs> In place of roots, these creatures have two small humanoid feet that they may use to chase down prey. <laughs> Homeowners with false rose bushes sometimes report missing pets or children. Woohoo! Awesome! Love that! False rose bushes pose incredible danger to, hum to homeowners with children or pets, as their diet consists of small mammals, and they are known to be fast and efficient hunters. Homeowners with without children, children or pets face reduced risk, as they cannot swallow a whole anything larger than themselves. To remove a false rose bush from a garden they have inhabited, it is advised to keep children or pets from venturing outside within its hunting range for an extended period. If a false rose bush goes more than one month without eating, it will move to, to a new territory on its own. Sorry I'm taking so long, David. I just... I got some reading to do. Lamp Sprite. We saw lamp sprites in the demo. Memory wisp? Due to clerical error, the audio sample provided is incorrect. This issue will be corrected by the end of the month. Uh, memory wisp are invisible and odorless. They're known for removing memories from the home and its homeowners. Homeowners infested with memory wisp will often report missing pictures, photo albums, and the inability to remember the faces of loved ones. Memory wisp are not a danger to the physical health of humans. However, their ability to affect the memory can sometimes lead to household accidents or reckless activity. It's kind of sad. Your nymph? Mirror nymphs are a subspecies of nymph that are known for stealing the likeness of homeowners and passerbys. They are generally small, faceless, and voiceless human humanoids carrying a large mirror that they beckon others to look into. Homeowners afflicted by mirror nymphs commonly report not being able to recognize their own face. Mirror nymphs, although a nuisance, are not a direct danger to humans. Solution: Mirror nymphs will wander to different locations why did nobody looks into their mirror? Affected homeowners can restore their likeness by catching the nymph and breaking its mirror with an iron implement. Tea sprite. That is disgusting. Tea sprites are a subspecies of sprite that are known to feed off of tea and tea leaf residue. Homeowners infested with tea sprites commonly report leaf like droppings in the sound of fluttering near kitchens. Tea sprites are not directly dangerous, however, they are known to spread various deadly diseases including fatal fey flu, should be removed ASAP. Tea sprites can be removed with various common household pesticides and traps, provided they are baited with tea leaves. Oh, I see. Okay. Don't like hobs anymore. Toilet hobs are a subspecies of hob that are known for homing inside toilets. They bear false faces and have two separate clumps of wispy hair on each side of their heads. Oh, he's looking at the camera. Great. Inhabit. The, uh, they clean the toilets. Yep. Toilet hobs are not dangerous on their own. Their physical presence within toilet plumbing problems. Like other hobs, they are capable of metamorphosing. Great! Metamorphosing is bad. Unicorn fungi? Oh, the puppy's got a unicorn. <laughs> They're rare horn-shaped fungus that are known to grow on heads of furry mammals and household pets. They often affect the animal's deposition, causing them to be drawn to the soil. Homeowners often report their pets fiercely digging around and inside their home. Yep. Treated cryother cryotherapy. Surgically remove 
Interesting. Whistling fungi. I don't like that. This one's interesting. Whistling fungi are small mushroom-like growths with many small holes in their caps that frequently grow through drywall gaps and cracks. Homeowners infested with whistling fungi often report a dissonant whistling sound coming from their walls. Warning, if you ever hear whistling fungi singing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately. Whistling fungi are rarely dangerous to humans, but their growth can cause foundational problems. If whistling fungi ever sing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately and do not return for any reason. Otherwise, whistling fungi can be removed with common weed killers or by utilizing HSH's fungal removal services. Ugh. That's right. Oh. Wine sprites are a subspecies of sprite that are known for consuming wine. They are small, large-eyed, winged Creatures with translucent skin that often appears red while they are feeding. They have a long proboscis that they use to drink. Homeowners infested with wine sprites commonly report broken glasses, and their wine having a rotten taste and smell. Wine sprites do not directly are not directly dangerous to humans, but they are known to spread various deadly diseases like fatal faith flu. Uh, they can be removed with common various household pesticides and traps, provided they are baited with wine. Ugh. And of course, the wood secretions. Okay, well, buddy, hate to tell you, um, but you got the worst thing that I've seen so far: a boggart. Uh, I hope you're still alive. <laughs> you're probably not, because I took so long reading that. Bye bye. Okay, little rude, but fine. Yeah, it was wrong. <laughs> All right, Michelle. What you gonna do? <laughs> okay. Okay. You got you got one of them there pipe hobs, my guy. Might want to get that out. I used to think hobs were cute. Uh they're the worst. They're the worst. So I thought at first this poor gentleman 
is dealing with a mirror nymph. Um, but it's not that. It's memory wisp. Right? She's dead and I can't see her face. So it's a memory. No. Here. No, it's the memory wisp. All right, man. It's settling. Sad. <laughs> disturbing. All that. Yep. Hope I got that right. Fingers crossed. <laughs> probably got it wrong. We'll probably get like 30%. Uh, but hey, that's all right. That's all right. Hello, employee. Supervisor Carol here. We've uh -oh. received complaints that some of the answers that you have been providing have been inaccurate. Uh. I urge you to think more carefully on the answers you provide before we are forced to terminate. You've been warned. I'm trying. I'm trying. Make this easy. Make better descriptions. Creepy lady. Uh, I don't know what this weird info you sent me means, but I tried it and uh, it didn't fix the faucet. I'm calling a plumber. What? Thanks a lot for wasting my time. Oh no, was it a pipe growth? Uh, wait, 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 bubbling. Uh, I thought it was that. What? Hey, yeah, my name's Fred Pinball. I'm calling to lodge a complaint against your place of business. Up there. I have never seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team. Just tons of twigs, sticks, and pebbles. So I ain't putting up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out of my drawers here. <laughs> Had to grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. Now, what you gonna do? What you gonna do to make this right? I don't know what you're talking about, Fred Pinball. I don't know. <laughs> uh... My dog's got a little horn. Hell! <laughs> He's digging up all the holes in the yard. He won't stop. What do you mean? He just angered at me. I hear it slithering this way. No! Oh. Oh. How was I supposed to know it was a slime? What? Uh, hi? I, uh, have no idea what's happening. My sheets are growing nasty sharp things on them, and my legs itch like crazy. Do I need to be showering more often or something? I usually shower like once a week for my skin health, so maybe that's it? Please hold. You got, you got, you got bed teeth, man. Teeth of the bed variety. It's, it's disgusting. Wash your sheets. It's easy to shower. Wash your sheets. <laughs> if if you don't, <gasps> if it takes a while for your sheets to dry, buy extra sheets. Hello, I was told to call this number to 
ask about my problem. The wall in my bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks, or maybe it's peeling. I'm not sure. I have a cat named Whiskers, and sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch, but he would never do that to the wall. He knows just how naughty that would be. <laughs> naughty little Whiskers. Please hold it. I'm just gonna come out and say it. You got a freaking uh fracture hob. I think. <laughs> I don't know anymore. He's like really pissed off, <laughs> but his picture—he's like the happiest guy ever. Uh, also, nice plaid, Gary. Please hold. What am I supposed to do? What? Weird noises coming from living room. Weird noises. Oh, I don't know. What? Weird noises. Living room. Uh, noises. You know what? I don't know. I'm just gonna see Bogger. It's probably not that. It's probably not. But I don't know. <laughs> if I mess up and die or whatever. Hello, employee. Uh oh. Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching you for some time, and I must say that we have been rather disappointed in your performance here. Many of our callers' lives have been altered for the worse thanks to your negligent answers. You're welcome. Your failure to treat your work here with the gravity it deserves has unfortunately forced us to make a very difficult choice in regards to your continued employment at HSH. Effective immediately, your employment... Whoa. Oh. What happens now? Oh. I got little hands! <laughs> awesome. I got little chicken hands. Let's see. Okay. Uh, clearly, I have some stuff to learn about this game. Uh, it's one of those games that. I'm just guessing my way through the whole thing. It's fun. Uh, I, st I still am quite, quite lost, though. Quite, quite lost. So I'm going to pick this up again in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and see you soon.